Welcome to Rune Terra Academy Extracurricular Activities, the the final week, uh, final episode actually. So uh, welcome all. I am PBS, joined tonight with Headmaster Red, of course. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing wonderful. I I just cannot wait for this season to end, <laughs> um, because of positive things. You know, I'm excited for how the things will shake out. No, no negative things. You know, all positivity so yeah yeah i mean a lot of really interesting finals matchups uh coming up this week um we're gonna try to stream them all even if we have to uh do it on two different oh. accounts but you know yeah, hopefully it doesn't come to that but you know it might so uh we'll see but uh yeah we could start off with the uh, new season coming poggies uh we could start off with the uh senior bracket here and uh, just go on. So from last week, we saw that uh, Kuma Blades, we, there was two upsets, right? And there, there wasn't just upsets. It was kind of like destructions, two three O's. Yeah. Um, uh... <laughs> some would say, uh, well, the G7M is not really an upset. But I would say at 3-0, it's an upset um, of, a, of a particular magnitude, right? Because... G7M, people could have said, yeah, they beat Nightless, right? Um, 3 0, nobody was really expecting that. Now, we do understand that Nightless had some kind of thing with their jungler, and that led to an overall weaker roster, and it was really unfortunate timing. But uh, still, Very. G7M came out and got the job done. Akuma also, from what I understand, had some kind of issues, IRL stuff that hit them like yep. hours before their match. Which is really unfortunate, and that ended up affecting their play. Uh, but you know, that's just the way things go. Sometimes, you know, it it sucks. They'll have a chance for a third place prize, which is a hundred dollars. But in the finals, it ends up being G Seven M and CPP, which I think uh, neither of us had. Ah, so. uh, I think one of us had. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Uh, all right. So we can take a little little look at the teams here. The the rosters are running. Obviously, uh. As you may know, these teams are very opposite as to how their roster works. Uh, CPP, they have... Here's their starting five, but they do have, like, a 10-player roster, so... Yeah, yeah. Uh, they change out their roster. Like, I've seen them multiple times swap out their whole five in between... In the in a series. So, yeah. uh, it's kind of hard to pin down these five as the starters, but these are the listed starters, and these are the people who have played the most um, in their respective roles. Uh... Tifo probably being the highlight player. Um, he's, he's listed as a sub on the official roster or a mid laner on the official roster. I can't remember. But uh, he's kind of just been hard carrying top this whole season. Uh, even with in the last series when Zed top went 14, 3, and 6. Um, as alongside his 2 0 12 Shen game. So versatile player. Uh, somebody you definitely need to watch out for. I think he was an MVP candidate as well. Oh, no, 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 he wasn't. He was Team 2 All-Star. But he's the guy to watch on uh, CPP. I would also say, quick shout-out to Kyuki. Kyuki uh, also seems like one of their um, highlight players. But any of these people, they all have carry matches. Like, a Furious Doctor had a 19-4-4 four four Pike game <laughs> as support. Uh, you know, support. It, uh, in yeah, yeah, <laughs> support in quotation marks. Indigo has had multiple games where he's at eight, nine, ten kills. Um, Yuki's had eleven oh nine uh games before, like twelve twenty kill games. He had a twenty two two eleven. All of these guys can carry, so it's a very dangerous roster, and they seem to be getting hot at the right time. Yeah, but on the uh, on the flip side here, we have the very stable roster of G7M. Uh, the the returning champions are uh, back in the finals to defend their their title. See if uh, right. It is it's stable. Stable is the right word to use. Um, they've used one sub all season for one game. One game out of the twenty five games they've played this whole season. They've only had a sub, a, t a sub top for one game, um, which is kind of crazy to think about. 
I know some people might be like, well, isn't this bot lane new? Actually, no, they're just the same people who name changed. Yes. Don't know why user five four two five nine zero is the name that they chose, but it is. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. Creative. I mean, I'm Rob makes sense. He is Rob. So it makes sense to change to I'm Rob. But yeah, I, this, from what I understand, this roster was kind of trolling in the regular season. That's what, you know, um, Mask off, keep saying. I I, I and, think they'll uh, say that no matter what. They're they are the most banter yeah. heavy team. I think we have in the that league. That is true. I, I often, you know, I always let them get away with like one kind of questionable thing in senior chat where I'm like, mm, this should probably go in banter. But then after th I do that for everyone, but G7M is like the prime example because they do it so often, <laughs> right? And and then I, they're the ones I always have to say, okay, boys, take it to banter. Okay, boys, you need to behave. Cause it gets a little wild sometimes. Um, but yeah, super fun group to watch. I need to see if they can take home the back-to-back -back championship, and they look insanely good. Yeah, I mean, I mean uh, they were trolling. By the way, like after they won the first game, when they were after they won the first game against Nightlist, they straight up were like trolling and still three would Like it was actually kind of kind of BM to be honest. Yeah. Uh, well. Now we know what the both roster, both of the rosters are. We can uh, check out our predictions. Uh, well, I mean, they're kind of outdated. And, the the uh, old predictions. Old predictions. So let's just make, let's we could we could reflect on our old brackets in a second. But let's talk about it right now. Now that we've seen both rosters, G seven M versus CPP. Who you got? How many games? CPP three one. CPP three one. Yes. Are you really, really testing? I am. <laughs> you, you're really good at give. I, I keep saying it in banter, so I have to. I have to stand by it. You know, I can't. Okay. Can't right. back down. I like it. I like it. Uh, me, I'm gonna go G7 M31. I think. Um, I think EPP is good, but I don't think they're nearly as good as G7 M. That's just my hot take. Um, and I think if CPP had played Nightless, Nightless would in the final. It's it's a hot take, but it, that's that's just what I think. Oh. Maybe. Yeah, but G7 well, uh, looks absolutely insane. All right, but, let's see yeah, what our old ones are. show our old ones. Yeah. This so, is what uh, we predicted at the beginning of playoffs, right? Yeah. So I, I did have CPP making the final, so I got one right. Right. Uh, I think if Nightlist didn't have the issues, I, I, I think they would be here. But, you know. Yep. Nothing oh. you can do about that. I mean, 50%, right? So, uh, That's not bad. I'll know, take a one out of two. Not bad. It's not bad. I mean, compared to uh, yours. Uh, uh, you're you're, you're okay. at a zero percent right now. How does it feel? Right, right. Well, uh, I think I got the one match one hundred percent correct. Right, the three o a glory G seven M match. Oh, and then okay. I I might have struck out on everything else. I'm only counting finals. But uh, yeah. Oh, uh, we won't, we don't need to talk about this. Let, let's get into the good stuff. You know, we're on senior. We're at the end. We already picked who we think was going to win. But we need to show who won the MVP. You know, people have been waiting two weeks for that stuff. We do, we do. Oh. All right. So uh, from the senior class, the MVP for semester two goes to AKM's jungler Yasa or Yasa Yasa. I don't know how to pronounce it, but Yasa. I don't know. I mean, uh, quick shout out to Dawson. He did them last season. He did them this season. The 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 graphics look absolutely insane. Um, it looks a little compressed on Twitch, but when I post it to Discord, you'll see how insane it looks. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I mean, not really a surprise. Uh, he was dominant all season. Now, uh, upon reflection of last week, maybe you think, well, uh, you know, <laughs> blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> but the whole season, he has been completely dominant and absolutely deserving of this award. Um, shame we couldn't see him in the finals, but uh, good job, you saw. You did uh, great this season. Yep, I agree. Uh, cool. Cool. Well, do you want to move over to the, the junior uh, section? Let's go juniors. Juniors. All right, here is the, here's the blank junior bracket with the uh, CB Rush vs. Air Esports Revival finals. Uh, this go how you expected it to, to go? Um... The whole bottom half of the bracket went basically how I expected it to go. Um, 
the top half of the bracket, it was a reality I had seen, <laughs> but I didn't think it would come to light. Right? Well, I, I am was, excited you to show you my me, bracket. <laughs> if you had told me at the beginning of the season, like at the beginning of playoffs, Air Esports beats BBC 3 2, I wouldn't have called you crazy or anything. But, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't have predicted it myself. Uh, it, it's kind of nuts. I think uh, BBC had some issues with like player commitment, right? There were a lot of players were like stuck on New World, from what I understand. True. And, um, yeah, I mean, not to make any excuses, a loss is a loss, right? Air Esports, they, they, uh, the captain of Air Esports, he changed his name to Fluke Esports because, you know, everybody considers it a fluke when they win. But that's not the truth, right? Like, they earned their spot here. They, they beat BBC. Uh, and now they get to challenge for the championship. Deservedly so. Yes, they no. do. Uh, so, we can take a quick look at these rosters. On uh, We'll do CB Rush first. Uh, sure. There it is. I mean, this is about as stacked of a lineup you can get outside of <laughs> BBC's lineup. Um, CVR Rutledge, very solid in the top lane. He has been all season. Not a surprise uh, to see him being dominant all season. I th he also, I think everybody on this team made like all stars, right? Um, uh, maybe. Maybe. Can't quite remember. But yeah, CVR Rutledge. Uh, you know, I think he's like second in KDA for top laners, third in kill particip uh, kill participation, and um, I think fourth overall in role rating. He, he's been solid all season, so it's not exactly surprising um, to see his team so far in the playoffs, right? And then, of course, jungle CBR acid, the ultimate carry jungler. He has like a he's like first place in damage per gold in the yep. jungle with 1.4 which is kind of nuts um, carrying another I, team to finals it seems yeah exactly and then um first place in dpm uh, for junglers and then second in kda so smart player aggressive player um uh, really shown his like aptitude this season you know um really dominant in playoffs by the way he had something like a 60 csd at 15 over this last series or something like that, which is insane. Um for a jungler. Uh yeah, not surprised um to see him carry his team to another final. Uh I I believe the narrative at the season beginning was like can is C is it CBR or is it the BBC four, right? Yeah. Um because CBR left BBC to go to CBR and uh turns out it was it was acid, right? It was acid the whole time. Correct. Which I think was your prediction. Uh, it was. It really for the was. Other, for the other players, Evil Zara has a lot of pop-off moments. Frosty Five, very solid in the mid lane. And then for support, uh, Kraydog, um, who was not their starting support. I know they had struggles with support all season. He seems to be very solid for them and has locked down that role, which is nice to have that stability. Yep. Well, on the other side of the bracket, we have Air Esports Revival with their... Uh, I think they've stayed with this roster the whole season. Yeah, um, if if uh, G7M was the most stable roster, this is the second most, I would say. Um, they've been they've been very consistent. And I think um, the only roster real change they made was in the ADC role, uh, when they changed from Jersomi to Buy You Die. But uh, I think that was probably a strict upgrade because they've been absolutely streaking uh, ever since he's joined the team. So. Uh, yeah, I very agree. cool. I, I I like this team. You know, they don't have many like super standout players. Their jungler and top laner are kind of pretty nutty with it. I would say they're both really good. Um, both top in the role in CS per minute and uh, top of their roles in gold difference at fifteen. So that top side is very scary, and that's what makes this matchup against CBR very exciting because Rutledge and Acid versus Bobby Rob and Ryuji Aoyukawa. That's gonna be the the matchup to watch for sure. Yeah, I mean, I actually had like a a personal opportunity to scrim this team, so I yeah. I can see them winning. Did you honestly, win? uh, yeah, did you we win? did, we did, but uh, oh, it was okay. it was unfair. It was unfair. I was playing. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, so they gave you a handicap or something? Like, <laughs> they did. I don't they know. Did. Oh, okay, okay. 
All right. Uh, well, you want to check out these uh, these brackets? I'm I'm dying to show you mine. Okay. Well, first let's make the predictions. CBR oh, okay. are here. How many games? I'm uh, going. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I've uh, made the predict. I've made the prediction before that CBR beats Air. I'm changing it. I'm going Air uh -oh. three two over CBR. I actually and have oh. I I have CB Rush three one. You have CB Rush three one. You have Air yeah. going all the way just to lose. Oh yeah, I do yes, remember that I actually. Do. That's uh, that, well, you'll yeah. see it on my bracket very shortly. I'm okay, reading okay, right from it. it. All right, see, here you see. go. The 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 hundred percent prediction, right here. Uh, uh huh. Yep. I had Air Esports I mean, getting DDC three two. What happened? Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 I'm. I mean, good. Good. I'm. I'm. I'm glad. <laughs> you know, you've had really cool predictions all season and really good power rankings, and people really appreciate them. Yeah. It's nice that you finally got a, uh, you know. Something going for you and uh for bender's <laughs> question no ben did not take a game off of cbr uh pbs predicted he would at the beginning they would at the beginning of playoffs he also predicted them going 3-2 against nameless which uh, was also a 3-0 for zenigma if i remember correctly so yeah i i think so didn't quite get it right but you got all the, the w's right you know? i mean i got all yeah i got all the you wouldn't win right. the tie you wouldn't win the tiebreaker right because your game scores are wrong but like i mean i got like, this i got somebody the semifinals had, right yeah, hey, yeah, you got almost everything right. So, you pong. All right, let's check out yours, uh, real quick. Okay, uh, sure, sure. So you had BBC and CBR. So you got you got a fifty percent. I mean, that's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, let's not forget that I was given bad info at the beginning of the playoffs. Yep. I was told um, Air could not make the day that they scheduled their match, uh, which was apparently not true. Uh, so I was operating on the fact that Air was going to come with three of their starters, and they ended up coming with five. And uh, yeah, so uh, if I had known that, I would have picked Air. Uh, I still don't think I would have had them going all the way. But um, yeah, uh, you know, it was a respectable try, I'll say. It was a respectable. Yep. No? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Nothing? I think it's okay. Right. okay I mean, okay. I mean, okay, okay. you know, you, you did it with the information what you did, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fucked up. I know. It's okay. Well, you can't say that. Okay, it's okay. You can say it. It's fine. No. But <laughs> on that note, we have a junior MVP to unveil. Yes, we do. And uh, is it really a surprise? Uh, it is CBR, CB Rush's jungler. CBR Acid, of course. Uh, carrying his oh team on his back. Back-to-back -back finalist. Dude. Got the Dark Star. Back-to-back MVP, dude. This guy. He's just collecting these MVP trophies at this point. Yeah. Um, what, what skin did he pick last time? Was it Echo? He picked Spirit Blossom. Kha'Zix. Ah, He's told me Kha'Zix that player. he is just going to keep picking Kha'Zix skins until he collects them all. <laughs> um... Which should take quite a long time, it, like if you think about it, um, considering how long the seasons take. But yeah, I mean, he's got two so far, so you know he's doing he's well on his way, well on his way. Two for two is pretty insane. Um, I mean, nobody is really surprised. I mean, he's the hardest carrying jungler in the league. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you meet this guy and you give him Kha'Zix, which so many teams do for whatever reason, and he's just gonna hard carry, like it's just it's just a rep. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, and uh, just a reminder, uh, these these are like league voted uh, staff and yeah. players, so staff and players, I'm correct. Yep. And uh, let's also be reminded that, that <laughs> you it doesn't matter. I don't care what kind of game plan you have for his Kha'Zix, okay? This is not a Faker LeBlanc counterpick with Morgana moment, okay? <laughs> Just ban the Kha'Zix, please, dude. You will lose. <laughs> <laughs> you just lose, dude. Please ban the Kha'Zix. That's all yep. I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. All right. Well, uh, I know Okina's been waiting, so I think we should move over to sophomore now. You sure you don't want to jump straight to the freshman? I mean, all right. We'll go to sophomore. Just yeah, of course, of course, of course. All right, here is the blank finals. Uh, we have TA Wolves versus Blue Sprouts. Uh, both making it here off of three ones. 
so they right, are beatable. Right. Yes. Um, okay. That's a weird way to phrase that. <laughs> Segue into that for sure. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to continue that thought, but I guess not. No, that's all um, I got. I mean, maybe some surprises in the OMTZ lost. I I think maybe. most people most people kind of agree that like OMTZ versus BSP was kind of. The finals. I, I, I we've got a lot of TAW people in here, so I don't I don't <laughs> want to play them. I just think that whoever won the OMTZ versus BSP matchup just beats TA Wolves. I think TA Wolves is just the third place team out of those three. Um, but you know, it ends up there in the finals because you know brackets, you know bracket size and yep. stuff like that. Um, That's what seeding does. It is. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, I've said probably from week four that if this current iteration of BSP had played TAW, they would beat them, and I still stick by that. That's, that's I agree. My, I agree. Uh, that's my take. But uh, you know, TAW is no slouch. Okay, I'm not going to say they don't have any chance of winning. It's just my money is on Blue Sprouts, like Bear Boy Kelly said. So. Of course. All right. Well, uh, let's check out the rosters for these teams. Starting off with TA Wolves. We got Lawrence in the top top lane, something corning in the jungle, Titan Diff, Duff in the mid, TOA Okina in the bot lane, and Dark Wanker. It's a four. <laughs> no, no, it's Dark, Dark Wanker. I know, I know, Dark I know. Wanker. I have to say it like I have to say it like that. I'm sorry. That's that's just how it is, dude. The Dark Wanker. Um, I mean, please add spaces. This team is a very name. good. Yeah, yeah, that that would probably help. <laughs> this team is probably like the best team play team overall. Um, I think Okina really shines in the bot lane, and I think something corny really shines in the jungle. Everybody else is like a really good role player on this team, um, and they they know how to play through their team very well. Like they know how to play through Okina and through Corny um, whenever they have the opportunity to, and they capitalize on it very well. There's not much to say about it other than that they're just a really good synergized team. And um, that could that could carry you a long way. Like a really long way. So you know? Yeah. Respect to TAW. I agree. Big time. Uh no flame. Third place team. <laughs> not because they're in the chat, <laughs> you know. Right, but, right, right. Yeah. Uh third place team. All right. Um yeah. The... All right, all right. But let's see who they're they're facing here in the finals. Uh, we got mm -hmm. Blue Sprouts. We got After That Bude in the top lane. O minus jungle. I think they have a different jungler now. Uh, Caxi in the mid lane. Jason Scripter five. And Kobita. Uh, so it's actually uh, O minus is still the jungler. Just okay. to clarify. I know they had Dallas uh, playing at some point. Dallas played last week, but from um, and I asked, and they said it was just like a one off thing. So. Uh, other than that, Mike has been Mike, who's O minus, has been playing all season outside of that one series. Um, but you know, this team has been absolutely insane. Like they had the first two weeks where they really struggled, and then after that, they lost I think like one game in the regular season, not a series, like one game, and then they lost one game in playoffs to OMTZ, where they kind of, they kind of. They kind of dominated OMTZ, to be honest. It didn't really feel close for a lot of their wins. It so, really didn't. Yeah. Uh, so, to me, they're, they're the number one team. I think the players to watch are, of course, uh, after that booty in the top lane. I, I'm actually... Did, he didn't get, uh, like, all-star, did he? Uh, no, he didn't, actually. Yeah, that's a shame. Because uh, he's, like, I voted number for him one. Number in, one. Yeah, he's like number one in everything for top lane sets. Like KP, DPM, uh, gold difference at 15, damage per gold. 1.8 damage per gold is an insane stat, by the way. Yes. Um, and so I, I would love to see how he matches up uh, against uh, more of a role player in uh, Lawrence. That'll be a fun matchup to watch. Of course, you know, we have to talk about JC, Jason Crip 5. He hasn't been stellar, but he has been doing his job. That's that's been enough for BSP. 
get it done. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, that's all you need, really. I mean, if you have a solid three players on your roster, I mean, that's that's more than enough to to win finals, honestly. Uh, yeah. He also played the uh, Zaya Varus matchup three times in a row. <laughs> and he, he he's did a Zaya, Zaya one trick now. He did Zaya four times in the in his uh, playoff series, which was pretty funny. Um, maybe it's worth a ban, guys. Maybe it's worth a ban. Who knows? Maybe. I've been trying to uh, share my airy Zaya tech with him, but uh, okay. I think he's sick so of the info. You're giving him the info. I'm trying. Just... See if he listens. <laughs> okay okay uh he's not stellar yeah unfortunately not super stellar but uh you know good enough good enough that's what i'll say yep. uh, this is the best vision team by far in play in sophomore so um they, they do a really good job of grabbing vision and then holding on to it and then choking people out um which is pretty interesting into taw's game play style you know they operate as a team as five so I wonder how much that'll actually benefit them versus AW style. Yeah, I mean, uh, all right, all right. What's your prediction for this uh, this final? Okay, okay, okay. The prediction is BSP three o three o. I got BSP three <laughs> two. Okay, okay, okay. I think TAW right, is I'm... still gonna do okay. No, I was just messing with. I know there's TAW people in the chat, so I just wanted to see. But I do think it's BSP 3-2 as well. Good. I'm glad you agree. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, do we need to... Uh, yeah, we're going into our brackets, right? From the beginning? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Right, uh, right. Here, you can check out mine. I mean... I think I have everything right. I think yeah. this is another 100%er. Uh, I don't know if it's a 100%er. Other than the, the games. Yeah, yeah, you did pretty good. Pretty damn good. I'll say that. Your sophomores, I mean, your semifinals was, like, on point. I think you, like, just... I had a you had, like, three, three of the quarterfinals just off by a game. That's it, so... Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, let's, uh, I mean, might... let's check out yours here. Yeah. All right. Uh, here you have your, your OMTZ winning finals. Uh... Yeah, yeah, so... Um... My my quarterfinals were like a hundred percent correct. I got the winner and the game score correct, and then I kind of fumbled the bag in the semifinals. I'm not gonna lie, um, but I still stand by. Whoever wins between OMTZ versus BSP wins the whole thing. So that that's that's been consistent. It's been consistent. You are correct. But yeah. Oh, you know what time it is. We have to talk about sophomore MVP. Yes, it is MVP time for sophomore. Uh, so another another person that isn't in the finals actually won this. Uh, congratulations to OMT Zeus's mid laner, uh, Kitan. With the uh, of course you got to get the prestige edition Kiana skin. Yeah. Um, interesting thing about Kitan. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it wasn't even close. Like the the MVP voting was pretty close for most divisions. With Kitan, it was like a sixty point difference. It was <laughs> a huge gap. Um, so I I think most people in sophomore weren't surprised um, to see him win. You know, and uh, you know, great skin choice too. I have to say, uh, looks really good. Thank you, Dawson, for doing such a wonderful job again. Um, but yeah, I mean, he was a monster all season. You know, I think if you look at his last series, you might, like, look down upon it a little bit. But, you know, League is a team game. <laughs> that's that's the excuse, right? Right. So, other than that, I mean, the dudes played, like, Garen, Mordekaiser, Mid, Kiana, Misfortune, Azir, Yone, Tristana, Vex, Hale. I mean, look, I mean, there's such a varied lineup of champions that he's actually just hard carried on and um you know, it's i think it was well deserved to see him win this i agree i i believe i voted him first i think uh i, I think can't, can't literally find. everyone voted him first <laughs> like i'm telling you it wasn't close guys uh 
every other one was pretty close, but this one was not that close. So, yeah. Congratulations, yep. Kitan. Yeah, and uh, obviously you'll get this as a little, little trophy, so. Yep. Nice, nice. The CBR Acid tells me he used his MVP image from last season as his desktop background. He loved Not a bad it, idea. So. Yep. Well, now he'll have a slideshow, too. So Correct. It'll work for him. All right. Uh, All right. I guess we can move on to the, the freshman playoff uh, finals. Uh, here mm -hmm. we go. So we do have a TV Shadow versus BDE Druid finals, which uh, BDE Druid, honestly, probably surprising for a lot of people that they made it so far. Yeah, I think it's very surprising. Um, I don't think people thought BDED was a bad team by any sense. I think we, I believe we all we talked about this at the beginning of this, the playoffs that basically anyone um, of these teams could kind of win beat any other team. You know, freshmen felt very close um, going into playoffs because all of these teams had taken games and series off of other teams, so. It was very exciting going into it, but it is still a surprise that BDED is in the finals. I don't think most people had them in there besides BDED themselves. <laughs> so, like, um, yeah, I don't, I don't a TV think the shadow org had them. I don't think yeah, the org yeah, had them making well, it. Exactly. I think they had BDES, especially because BDES had just come off championship like that last week. So, um, kind of crazy. Um, but yeah. A fun to see that they made it this far. TD Shadow, you know, I, I was very glad that the Zenyu TD Shadow series went five games. Um, TD Shadow has played 10 games in playoffs. That's that's the most you can do. Um, yep. And, uh, you know, they've always come out on top. They feel like a really good team. This this finals will be a banger. 100%. I agree. I agree. I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, well, the other ones don't feel as close as this one. That's what I see. <laughs> We can check out the, the roster for these teams, of course. Uh, for TD Shadow, we have Beyblade in top, Lennox in jungle, See the Dark in, in mid, Clone and 54 on bot, and Brandon needs help as support. Yeah. Um, so, about like midway through the season, I think maybe it was after week two or week three, Beyblade became the starting top leader for TD Shadow, and they have been absolutely monstrous ever since then a completely different team um so this this is extremely fun to see how this roster is shaped out and he's the player to watch for me i, I don't know what happened because he's not like dominating his opponents i mean he's doing pretty well he does have a 21.3 csd of 15 so maybe i'm wrong uh <laughs> it, it's second so i didn't think he was dominating but yeah 21 is kind of nuts actually um but yeah, this whole team has kind of turned around. Uh, their support is very solid. Their top lane is very solid. And um, their mid laner is someone to watch as well. He can either get it done or he can completely run it. So that'll be fun to watch. Um, but yeah, this is a very exciting lineup. Mm. Yeah. I'm hyped for it. True. I mean, uh, TD, obviously they weren't the first seed. So uh, making finals, pretty good. Uh... Let's check out their, their opponents on the other side. We got Big Duck Entourage Druid. We got Chief in the top laner. Four Vinny is jungle. Fishing for Honor in mid. Prevail on bot. And Temerier, uh 315 on support. Okay, look. The dude made finals. We could say his full name. It's Chief Queef. Okay? And yep. uh, he deserves to have his name spoken because dude's been pretty good all season. He's not been outstanding. But he held his own against Solus, who was the top best top laner in the in the league. And uh, like honestly, he should have been running it against Solus, and he held his own very well. And that that was basically the difference maker in their first series. Um, you know, for Vinny coming in for um, coming in for Vinny uh, midway through the season, you know, he's really held it down in the jungle. He's done pretty well. None of these players have been outright outstanding, except for maybe uh, Prevail. Right, Prevail's been pretty good. Um, yeah, Prevail's kind of like nuts. Oh, yeah, He's I, pretty I good. Like. Pre Prevail's probably like the best ABC in, in freshman. Um, 
other than that, they play as a team really well, and it's shown throughout their um, series because they've been underdogs, but they've been able to out macro and uh, outplay all of their opponents. Correct. I mean, obviously, to make finals, you kind of have to outplay your opponents, which uh, right, 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 sure. it makes sense. So, right, right, right. And obviously, they they had to take down one of their own. Uh, BDES never forgotten. Right, right, BDES. Uh, very surprising, I think most people would say. Yeah, I mean that was first seed versus fourth seed, so. Right, right. That's about as big as an up to, upset as you can get. For sure. For, uh, but yeah, really All cool. Right. Very excited for this series. Very excited. All right, prediction time. What do you got? Okay. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Okay. You're gonna say it. I predicted TDS in the beginning of playoffs, but there's just some magic in the air surrounding BD right now. So I gotta go BD D three two. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play it safe here. I put King Kingpin winning finals. Uh, and BD beat them, but. I think TD Shadow is better. So I'm going to go TD Shadow 3-1. TD Shadow. Okay. Yes. All right. I mean, that's fine. That's a fair sure. vote. That's not like a... Yeah, I mean, it's like... No, it's not inconceivable. Just kind of lame and weird champ. But yeah, yeah. it's cool. And if we, uh, if we take a look at our uh, before playoffs predictions, uh, obviously you can see I put Kingpin 3-1 over his Enigma. Neither of those teams made it, so... I'll take my first zero percenter. Zero percenter. Yeah, well, you, and then you had BD, uh, BDES winning. I think both of us did. It's yeah. not that surprising. <laughs> uh, but yeah, kind of uh, kind of fumbled the bag. Not gonna lie. Your, finals, your finals is the third place match. So, um, you got, I mean, you were kind of close. So if you get the 3-1 cr prediction correct for the third place match, I mean, that's kind of cool, right? Correct. I mean, you're kind of right. It's just like flip your backwards. I mean, flip your bracket upside down, you know? Yeah. yeah anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go to my predictions. All right. Uh, you have TD Shadow beating BDE Shaman 3 2. Uh, well, you did have them winning. Yeah. Two, but now I have BDE beating them 3 2. That way I can split the difference right both ways. So I can't possibly lose in this situation. Um, yeah. Yes. Uh, that's pretty poggers. It's pretty poggers. Yep. So, uh, we do have a bit of a. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wait, not, before I'm, we do I'll, that, I'll let's, let's hand. Before we get into freshman MVP, there's some things we should talk about, like, uh, house standings, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. House standings, they haven't moved. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have them pulled up, so uh, I, I can't, uh. It, it has gotten closer. It is, it has gotten closer. In fact, there have been a lot of Infernal versus Mountain matchups in playoffs, and Mountain has taken quite a few of them. So as the final results pour in, and as we kind of restructure freshman and sophomore to be more in line with like a true one to one to eight ranking, um, things could definitely change like a hundred percent. So yes. right now it's actually really close between Infernal, Mountain, and Ocean. Ocean has pulled it back a little bit. Um they're they're in the running, especially if BDD wins, if Air wins, um, I mean we're having like a whole different conversation. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun for sure. Yeah. But uh, I mean, uh, another thing is, oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, I was just gonna talk about third place matches. So if you have a comment about uh, houses, you can go ahead. Well, I was just gonna say, like, if you take a look at the the teams that were put on the houses, I think so far we've probably had the expected result. Right. Uh, right. I, I believe at the beginning we had Infernal first, Mountain second, so not not too surprising. But Okay. Okay. Cool. I just want you to know that Okina is extremely salty and has now changed his um, name to third place ADC, and Lawrence has changed his name to third place team. Okay. Yep. Um, that is a very TA thing to do. I agree. Cringe. Um, secondly, for people who are in third place matches, um, let's just keep in mind 
that it's not for any nothing. There are third place prizes. There are still cash prizes for third place. I know it sucks to play in a third place match, but there are cash prizes. That being said, you do not have to play a best of five if you don't want to. And you don't have to play Summoner's Rift if you don't want to. <laughs> the only condition for third place matches... Now, this does not apply to finals matches. Finals matches, you have to play best of five Summoner's Rift. All the regular stuff. For third place matches, the only thing you cannot do is agree to split the prize pool. That's the only thing you cannot do. So, whatever you want to do, rock, paper, scissors, ARAM, TFT, LOR, like... I'd love to see a TFT third place game. <laughs> you know, like Rust, I, I mean, like, you want to play COD, anything, you're allowed to do that stuff. If you want to play the best of five, that's fine, too. If you, both teams agree to do whatever they want for the third place match, that's cool. Whatever, we don't really care. It's just, no, if it's not on Summoner's Rift, you're just not going to get stats for it. Ooh. Yeah, if you want to, uh... Ah, what, what's the, the, the COD, not... It's MW2. Didn't I say it was, it was Rust? Is that right? Cod Rust? Is that the map? I don't know, dude. I don't play other games, dude. I don't play games in general, to be honest, so... Let's uh, just say, yeah, it, it looks like it's Rust, okay? Uh, oh, come on. Yes, Rust Cod. There you go. Modern Warfare 2 map. Small multiplayer map. There okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, one yeah. you, you can 1v1 on there if you really want to. want to. Um... Cool. So... Uh, that being said, now that we've gotten all that out of the way, it's time to introduce our freshman MVP. Um, for people who've been playing, paying attention to freshmen, you probably know who the MVP is. It was kind of almost unanimously voted. And giving this person the same kind of MVP image as the others didn't quite feel right, but... If the team wants it, we can give them one. Um, but we kind of wanted to do something a little different um, because of the circumstances surrounding the player. So if you want to just go ahead and go over to that slide, uh, we could introduce the freshman MVP real quick. Yeah, there you are. So freshman MVP is uh, three minutes from Big Duck's Entourage Druid. Um, for people who have been paying attention, you know that he recently passed away during, right, right before, actually, BDED found out during their playoff series, so, um, which was insane, you know. Um, we wanted to give him something a little bit more, you know, like a, a memorial kind of thing, but if, if the team wants a more traditional type of MVP, uh, image, then we can we can give them that as well. But yeah, so we thought it was a little bit more tasteful to give him something like this and to give to his team that they can use for whatever they want. But he did win MVP, and it is unfortunate that he's no longer with us. But, uh, you know, rest in peace, Vinny. Got any... Comments. Uh, I know it's tough, right? Like it's a weird, it's like a hard subject, but yeah, I don't, I don't know if I have any like comments. I mean, it's 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 sad. Like you can't can't say anything other than that, really. Yeah, uh, especially I mean, someone who's just... been around the league so long, and you know. Yeah, but I know BDED will be fighting for him this weekend, this Friday, um, and you know that'll be that'll be uh. A good one to watch for sure but uh yeah on that note not really much else to talk about uh thanks for everyone for coming out we will post these full res images onto the discord um for people to view and uh or download for the for the mvps you know who want yep. it um yeah, instead of like what you see compressed here but yeah thanks all for coming out um and rest in peace, Finney.